Hello everyone, welcome back to Tubby Time. Today we're outside at the flat top. We're whipping up some delicious teriyaki chicken with a side of rice, asparagus, and pineapple. It's gonna be delicious, let's get it going. All right, so starting off, I got three zones here on high. This one's on low. I have about two pounds of chicken in a bag. This, what the hell? This is just Costco chicken, boneless, skinless breasts. It's been marinating in this uh, mixture, a teriyaki mixture, if you will, for about two hours, give or take. Now, I just did store-bought teriyaki sauce. I didn't make my own. I didn't feel like it. So I'm using Kugelman teriyaki. I think that's how you pronounce it, teriyaki sauce. Now, the profile of this sauce is it's sort of salty. Most of the cheap sauces are. So I'm gonna show you what I did to make this teriyaki sauce a little bit sweeter because we're gonna make a topping. No, not, not a topping. We're gonna make a sauce to go on the chicken when we're done growing it. So in this bowl, I have equal parts pepper, cornstarch, and brown sugar. I'm just gonna throw some of this in there. Like I said, this is the topping. So it is pretty viscous. Like I said, I do like sweet teriyaki sauce, so we have some pineapple. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of that in there. I'm just gonna stir this up and throw it off to our warm side, not our blazing hot side. It's gonna get down nice and thick with that cornstarch, hopefully. And we'll stir that maybe every few minutes. Let's start with some oil here. We're gonna throw our asparagus down. If you've never had grilled asparagus, it's delicious. You should try it. We have a whole bundle here. You just gotta keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. I'm gonna throw some more oil on top, fresh ground pepper, some salt, and we'll just sort of mix that up like so. That worked. I'm just gonna turn it and keep it in a group over here. We just wanna get all those flavors incorporated. Gloved hand, we have our chicken. I just don't feel like washing my hands, so. And we're gonna lay this down right here. Let's just dump some of this sauce on top of it. We don't want it to go to waste. I'll just get some of it over here. It's gonna burn off, whatever. Now what I should mention to you is I did add a little bit of water to the sauce, unlike what I did over here with this sauce. And the reason for that is I wanted it to uh, be not as thick. But for this, since we're brushing it on, we're just going to keep it thick. Just going to keep an eye on this, like I said. Oh, God. It's okay if that gets in there. It'll cook. Get those nice and spread out. Next, I have two-ish, maybe a cup and a half, I don't remember, cups of rice. I cooked this yesterday, let it sit in the fridge overnight. We're gonna do like just a little bit of a, like a fried rice sort of thing. It's nothing special. Just putting it on a flat top to warm it up basically and add in some more ingredients. We'll do a fried rice video at some point. Once we do that, I'll put a link here. This is like a combination of like jasmine and long grain. It was just whatever we had. Fried rice is so easy on this thing. Get this spread out and then put that down. It's like a cake, a cake of rice. What I'm gonna do here is put down some garlic. I'll put some down over here too. Make it nice and fragrant. Then one key in Asian cooking is butter. So we're gonna put a good amount of that down on the rice. And we'll put some down over here. Cause why would you have healthy asparagus? Just make sure these are looking good. We'll take our rice and our butter. Give it a nice mix. How's that looking so far? It looks like rice. Yes, it is. It does look like rice. You're correct in that it statement. Smells really good though. All right, let's see what our chicken's up to. You know what? I think it's time to flip. Oh God. Got a nice crust on that. Look at that right there. Looks delicious. 
might be looking at me struggling here and being like, wow, asparagus is a pain in the ass. It's not. It's just kind of make sure it cooks all the way through and doesn't burn or anything. All right, here's a fun one. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a can of pineapple slices. Store brand. Whatever. Or actually, no, they're not. Uh, Fa farm flavor. Yeah, you don't have to splurge. And we're going to put them on the flat top. So I'm going to put them right here. Lay them down like so. And we're just going to let the uh, juices sort of get into the chicken, I guess. Good stuff. Would you like this? Kayla gets rewarded by getting pineapple juice every time I cook pineapple. Okay, now let's go for something special. So we have some sesame seed oil here. I don't use this ever, but if you've never used it, it gives a nice nutty flavor to whatever you're cooking. Very Asian, very prominent in Asian cooking. So you don't need a lot. I'm just going to use it very sparingly. I'm going to throw some on the asparagus and some on the rice. And this is literally all you need, just a little tiny bit of it. And you can already smell that coming off, can't you? Yeah. All right, last but not least for the rice, let's add in some soy sauce. And we'll give it a stir. I love soy sauce. I'm sure you do too, right? Yeah, so. Oh yeah, it looks great. We're trying to let this rice just crisp up, get all that incorporated. Don't worry about that black stuff, that's just from the chicken. Nice chopping motion there. I love, love that. Let's see what our pineapple's up to. Oh, look at that char on there. Looks great. That's actually more so from the chicken stuff, I guess. But it's looking so hot. Just want to check my sauce here. Mmm, tastes so good. Next, let's check our chicken. We'll look at the internal temp. Remember, you're trying to get up to like 165-ish. Still a bit cool. This one's actually, the, f the biggest one is cooking the fastest. So since I have uneven heating on this thing, I'm gonna try to throw some of them down here. And these are some thick boys, so they're gonna take a little bit of time. And now we wait. Just gonna keep an eye on everything. I'll move some of these around. Asparagus is looking hot as hell. This one's looking a little raw, but let's try it. It's almost there. Back when I was younger, we used to uh, eat raw asparagus out of our asparagus patch at the house. So that was really good. Plus, it made our pea smell really good, too. Yeah, I could tell it again. I know I just checked the temp. Oh, yeah, we're going, we're climbing quick now. It's just that cold area up there for whatever reason. Yeah, we're almost there. So since we're almost there, let's take our sauce here. I don't know. Let's brush it on. We're just going to dump it on a little bit. Oh, yeah, a little bit. That worked. We're going to let that set in there. That looks so good. These look so freaking delicious. Get around the sides. It's like a Bob Ross painting. It's, take your time with it. We'll put in some little trees right here. Yeah, we're just getting all that in there, all that deliciousness. Cool. Just waiting now. But what's cool is you can see all the stuff I'm cooking right now. Oh, this pineapple is so good. Grilled pineapple, one of my favorite things ever. Now, the asparagus, oh yeah, that, that was great, very graceful. The asparagus here is uh, starting to get really browned and it's starting to become pliable. So it's pretty much done. Let's give our rice another flip. It's crisping up nicely. How's that look? Fabulous. Oh, you know what it needs that I forgot? Pepper and salt, actually. So we'll just finish it off with that. Should have done that before, but I suck. And our salt. You definitely want to be careful with fried rice that you don't put too much oil because we don't want it to be a soggy mess of disgustingness. Just going to try a little bit. Mm. Not hey, you are not allowed to try anything. Oh, ready? Here we do this. Yay me! <laughs> Zero. 
That's a heart. Arrow is in Arrowhead Stadium where Patrick Mahomes is taking on the Cleveland Browns in 20 minutes. Your favorite player of all time. <laughs> it's good. Remember we have carry over time. Good. Good enough, I would say. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this uh, stuff off. Um, I, don't, I, don't know what I, I don't know what I want to do. Start with the pineapple, stack it up, throw it on. Next up, the chicken. A little chart on the underside. It's okay. Actually, it's not that bad. Next up, the rice. I'm just going to keep it in this original bowl. I'm just give these one more twirl here. They're as close as they're going to get to being done. Like this one still looks sort of raw, but it's been on here for like a half hour. And I don't have a plate for these. So these are going right on the tray. That's what trays are good for. Could have probably put everything on the tray, actually. So they do it. Hibachi. The, tray the trays. Plastic. Why would you buy a tray that's not heat resistant? You should buy oven safe trays. You oven safe, oven trays. safe trays. All right. Let's get this inside. Get it plated. And do a taste test. Plate. Rice. I think what I want to do is make a, a bed of rice. We're not ready for you. What are you doing here? Hey, you can come stand near me. That's fine. Okay. That looks good. And I want the thick boy of chicken. So I'm going to take him. Put him there. We'll top him with some pineapple. We'll get some asparagus. Actually going to center him. You know, because... That looks good. Let's fill in this side with a little more rice so we look really professional. And then what we'll do, we'll just take some nice green onion, scallions, as some people call them, and then we will just, I don't know, top everything. Why not? Ta-da. This looks delicious. You can come over here now. I give you permission. No, come over here. Like... Oh. You come over here. Taste test. Back up. Back up. All right. Where's your utensils? No, knife. This mine. Knife. This one's mine. Will you? Don't play with knives. What the fuck is wrong with you? I learned from my mom. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> so I'm scared to death that I'm going to get murdered in my sleep. All right, we're taking. Everything here. You said you were taking everything. I lied. Mm. What do you think? Teriyaki is so good. Yeah. The salt chunks is, uh, sort of level up the rice a little bit. Mm. So, what's your opinion? Final say. Give it an 8 out of 10. Mm. Just like you. So, an 8 out of 10 for an 8 out of 10. It's good. I like that. It's. I'm going to say right now, I used to like teriyaki a lot more when I was younger. It's not my favorite thing to make. Um, that's why we don't make our own teriyaki sauce. We don't. It's too much time. But I, I do like it once in a while, especially with pineapple. We're going to do a Hawaiian burger at some point with teriyaki too. I don't know when that's going to be, but we'll do that. Um, but yeah, really simple meal, really. Um, you know, fried rice, easily done on the Blackstone griddle along with everything else. And you saw the cooking space we had. We did the whole meal at once. Anything you'd like to add? Your opinions? Your thoughts? I'll eat it. Okay, she's going to eat it. So we're going to go be fat and watch Kale's favorite football player ever, Patrick Mahomes, take on Baker Mayfield. If you like what you saw today, please like, subscribe, comment, smash that like button. Got to smash it. And until next time. Hmm. <laughs>